I feel like I'm one person that dates with the intention of getting married. The streets ain't cute. Especially Cape Town streets, but yeah, hey. we're not gonna shade. Not everyone stays in your life forever. Mm -hmm. If you're a, a low maintenance princess, then money doesn't matter. The I dating pool in Cape Town. <laughs> Anyway, like there's no right formula to this thing called dating. But what if the red flags would be mad? <laughs> <laughs> McDonald's is not a date. So you need to look in here. Before looking not here. here. Always leave room for disappointment. Ooh. Like my soulmate is looking for me and I'm looking for that soulmate, but like he's not finding me. He was crying on the phone, which is crazy. That's so crazy. <laughs> girl. Oh, Astro girl. <laughs> Are you alright? <laughs> What's up guys, it's your girl Kayan, also known as Gushle underscore NY, period, okay, so today's video is a mukbang with girl talk or how dating in your 20s has been navigating dating in your 20s because i'm 20 and she's in her apparently age. in my late 20s <laughs> apparently. correction in she's my in late. Mid <laughs> she's i'm in, in my mid 20s i'm 25 yes yes and yeah we're just gonna have that girl talk while we're eating rocco mamas i got a smash burger and then she got what did you get both got smash burgers oh yeah smash burger. i got the chicken with bacon and egg and then i got a beef burger with some bacon and also got panta oh yes 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 What's it's a clink clink it's a clink clink Her. i'm actually so excited to devour this Ooh. <laughs> and i don't even like burgers but rocco's rocco's if you look if you're watching this do sponsor your girl <laughs> thank you Anyways, guys, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like and share. And if you relate to the things we're going to talk about, do comment and yeah, just have a conversation, guys. Share, yeah, let's go. So basically, we're just going to talk about how, what I've wanted to know before I started dating. And she's going to also like give me some sort of like advice and how she's gone about doing things in the dating world. So I've got eight topics and yeah let's go so what i've always wanted to know right or what i've wanted to know before i started dating is that not everyone stays in your life forever mm -hmm. and that's sure. on, that's on period that's a fact not everybody is there forever some of them are there for a reason some are there for a season and <clears throat> it comes within growing and understanding that sometimes you need to have people in your circle who allow you to grow and for people who stunt your growth as much as you love them and you love being around them and you know at that time they made you happy they made you feel happy sometimes it's also healthy and important to let go to let go of what is no longer serving you and to bring in so bring in certain energies that mm -hmm. actually do serve you mm -hmm. which has been very difficult for me in my dating life uh, i'm not going to speak about how great it is because it's not but dating Ooh, life, it is struggling <laughs> it is struggling the streets ain't cute Especially Cape Town streets, but yeah, hey, we're not gonna shade nobody. Hey, hey, <laughs> nobody. The dating pool in Cape Town. <laughs> zon, 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 zon. Anyway, I'm only 20 now, but like I've got to, I've had to learn about that. You know, not everyone stays in your life forever. And it's quite hard because, you know, I, I feel like I'm one person that dates with the intention of getting married. So. I feel like I should like not put pressure on myself with that um with that quote. Second thing that I wish I knew before I started dating is that people don't owe you loyalty. Oh <laughs> they don't owe you nothing. Nothing. <clears throat> I wanted to make a comment about that. Mm -hmm. Not that people do not owe you loyalty. But people do owe you honesty okay. as long as you yourself as a person are also being honest mm -hmm. and even going back to what you were saying about dating to marry That's and da, da, da. Mm -hmm. sometimes we have this vision that dating is going to be easy of which it's not it's never going to be easy mm -hmm. again like i said it's two people that are growing mm -hmm. but what makes it work 
is if both parties are willing to be as honest as possible no matter how much it's going to hurt the other person mm-hmm. as for feeling like you're owed something no one is owed anything that's for sure no one in this life is owed anything however i do feel like if you are trying your absolute best mm-hmm. you do deserve someone who is trying just as hard to be as honest and as invested in the relationship i agree with that i agree with that but like it's so weird how you know when you get into a relationship how you expect someone to be loyal to you and then once they not loyal you all shut you know did someone that has the same intentions or else the bona so so the relationship is wrong or mm. and how's just gonna be cheating after cheating and like, yeah, it's bye, but why is that, why is this person not loyal to me you know third thing <clears throat> not everyone that you might fall in love with is your husband hey honey <laughs> wait you stop it <laughs> are you speaking to yourself <laughs> are you right I'm not okay, guys. I'm not right. I'm not right. I'm not okay. Oh my word. Oh my word. Yes, and that's a fact. Not everyone that you date is going to be your husband. Sometimes you're dating just to experience what it feels like to date and to find out what you like and don't like. Mm-hmm. You're never going to know what you like right off the bat. And you also find yourself in a relationship in a sense of being able to be called out for your actions that might not contribute towards a relationship. Sometimes you're also mm-hmm. in the wrong. Sometimes there are certain things about yourself that you need to learn mm-hmm. to do better for the next relationship. So yes, not every man that you date is going to be your husband. You're like, guys, you are on. Why, why are you dating like this? Uh, because you want to find because, the one. Because back then, right, you'd meet someone. You like them, they like you. You get to meet their family, they meet your family. You get married, they have babies. You sit. Right now is talking to us talking stages you have to go through so many days to know if someone is perfect for you like to date and now you're not even sure even after five years that they can actually marry you mm. yeah guys There's nothing worse than a big time waster oh, uh-uh, so nah, uh-uh. Mm-mm, guys Mm-mm. Mm-mm. but also good, show. good i don't want to say good things come to those who went um when it comes to things happening in your life don't forget that it's not your plan it's god's plan it's not your plan it's god's God's plan plan. and sometimes he might be bringing you the worst of the worst because he needs to teach you that you need to raise your standards Mm -hmm. you need to raise your standards and also be able to identify the red flags within the the, the relationship that you're experiencing what if the red flags are for you (laughs) nice Keep looking green to you. Hey, go to a vote Hey, vote Oh, child, look at this. Hey, hey. <laughs> Next topic High school relationships aren't the same as relationships you'd have outside high school. Have you dated like in high school? Remember how early on today we said we don't have exes? Yeah. Yeah, I ain't got no exes. So actually, we shouldn't even be making this video. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you here? Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. I only ever had one boyfriend in high school. Mm-hmm. And I think that lasted for about a year or less than a year. Yeah. I really don't remember the timeline because it was puppy love. Mm-hmm. It wasn't even love, to be very honest. No shade, no tea to him. He's a great guy, Excuse but you. it was puppy love. It's very different because we were all immature back then. There's no such thing as a mature high schooler. I mean, there are people who are high school sweethearts that are married to each other right now. So, what do you have to say about that? I mean, it still started off as puppy love. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, I definitely think that high school relationships are far more different from university relationships, and then far, far more different to working hand corporate level. What, mm. what, what, what? You got a job, you're trying to get your own house, all that stuff. Mm. It's very different. All of it is very different and all of it feels like you keep messing up like there's no right formula to this thing called dating but you just have to be willing and confident enough mm-hmm. to take your 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 else to to the to the chest and deal with them and then become a better person because of them 
So I can't, I can't, not I can't, I agree that high school relationships are very different from relationships growing mm -hmm. up. That it's gonna be so, a different experience. That is so true because I recently got out of high school like three years ago. And I feel like dating in high school is way easier. <laughs> Because you'd like be like, um, because right now we're in, I'm in last year right now, right? So in high school, you'd be like, um, I actually like miss you, you know, I want to see you tomorrow or whatever, you know, and you see them tomorrow, everything plans out okay. Outside high school, you have to schedule, you have to make sure that, like, y'all go out on a proper date, not McDonald's, <laughs> we're not in high school, not with, McDonald's is not a date, by the way, but in high school, like, it was like a date, but right now have to make sure that you put on proper for your date go out have a formal date and all of that so in jay i high school relationships it was easy honestly being in high school definitely and dating now is far more like it's far more expensive as well yes it's but expensive we're gonna, we're gonna get to that we're gonna get to that oh, sorry, we're sorry, gonna sorry, get sorry, to sorry. that I'm sorry, yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> next um topic so someone's looks don't determine how they're gonna treat you what i mean is that if someone is a the most gorgeous looking man the most gorgeous looking man and you're gonna think that they're gonna treat you like a princess oh good they're not toxic or anything uh-uh uh-uh those are the ones that <laughs> those are the ones that are just not gonna treat you well honestly so don't look at someone and be like just because you're gorgeous you're gonna treat me well mm -mm. Mm -mm, it ain't like that <laughs> i've had my fair experience of that but yeah what do you have to say about that yeah i would have to say i agree and disagree with what you're saying mm -hmm. the way a man treats you has got nothing to yes it's got nothing absolutely nothing to do with their looks mm -hmm. but it's got everything to do with how they were raised mm -hmm. everything to do with how they were raised mm -hmm. um it's so true what they say about um the way a son treats their mother is exactly how they're going to treat you i have seen I don't want to say I, I don't want to say I've seen them being disrespectful to their mother in front of me. I've never really met any of my exes, boy, mothers, but just the way that they speak about their mothers, the things that they complain about, things that they celebrate about their parents, the things that they share, the conversations even mm -hmm. will speak a lot towards how they value and <clears throat> see their parents or their mother or whoever they look up to. And usually, the way that the person that they look up to yeah. is the way that they're going to treat you. Like even right now, <clears throat> I'm seeing somebody, but also not seeing him. Mm -hmm. I don't know yet. It's a little, it's a little complicated. <laughs> it's a little complicated. But the way he speaks about his mother, it is so beautiful and so loving to see. And it's like I so wish that I could even experience a, a glimpse of the way that he sees his mother, the way that he he treats his mother. Mm -hmm. um, that and also how they treat your friends. Mm when you are mm. when they're around your friends and let's say something is less than less than desire the, the, the situation is less than desirable the and desire, they see your friend as like not your friend your friends as a nuisance or they 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 want to make sure that you're okay and make sure that your friends are okay listen there's nothing more attractive than watching the guy that i like treat my friends with dignity and respect and making sure that they're okay above and beyond me being okay Hmm. So it's not always about how they treat you in the moment, but genuinely the person that they are and how they treat others is a very telling sign of a person who's going to treat you well. So it's not about looks. Mm -hmm. I've had terrible, no, I don't want to say terrible. Whoa! <laughs> I've had less than good looking men in my life who are very like good people treat and were well. good people to me. Mm -hmm. And a very handsome man right now is very, ooh, gorgeous. Ooh. Ooh. Treats me very well. <laughs> so respectful, yeah. makes me feel so comfortable. And still like, it's like, you can tell because of how they were raised. Okay. So you okay. need to look in here before looking. Not here. here. Yeah. Look in here before looking here. <laughs> Another thing that I wish I would have known is that money matters in a relationship. <laughs> Guys, money matters. Money does matter. It does. Because you can't be, you can't, you have to, like, you don't have to take me out, but, like, if you want to be the person that wants to give me some sort of princess treatment and doesn't mean that you have to spend a lot of money on me like treating me like a princess means you're gonna have to spend money <laughs> and you and if you're not gonna spend money on me then what are we doing because how are we gonna go on dates how, how how are we gonna be adventurous in this life together you know so yeah guys money really matters in a relationship 
money, I, money, money definitely does matter. I, I think you and I are very different in that regard. Yeah. You're a high maintenance princess. I'm a low maintenance princess. So for me, even if we're going out and we're spending no money, I'm mm -hmm. still the happiest because you wanted to be around me. Mm -hmm. And you made the plans for us to have a good day, even if it's us going to the Excuse promenade me. to have a picnic on the grass, mm -hmm. or if you're taking me to the fanciest restaurant in Cape Town. For me, it doesn't matter as long as I'm with you. I'm a clingy girl. Not clingy, but I'm, I, I have clingy tendencies. I love being around my man. That's my thing. So for me, if you're a, a low maintenance princess, then money doesn't matter. No. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that like oh, I know. I'm like high maintenance and I need money for no, the relationship to work. I know. I'm mm. just saying it does matter because we have to go out. We have to get to know each other outside of just being in the house. Mm. You know? So yeah, that's where I'm coming okay. from. Okay. I like that. Yeah. I get that. I get that. I'm not saying that you're you you're I need money, I need all these big <laughs> okay. dates and no, no, no. Yeah. What I'm saying is you like being treated. Yes. You like feeling special like a princess. Yes. Me, I just like being around my man. Even if we're okay. just sitting and doing nothing. Okay, so. so it's a different it's a different view for the two of us when it comes to this one. Yeah. Hmm. Comment down and tell us what you think. Okay. Another thing is that heal before you get into your next relationship. Heal first before you get into your next relationship. Because when you when you break up with someone right there is relationship trauma or probably like things that have happened in your previous relationship and now you're gonna get into the next relationship like with that trauma and now it's gonna cause your next relationship to just be bad because of the unhealed trauma that you have experienced in your past relationship so i feel like for me i wish i would, I would have known that i should heal before getting to a next relationship you know heal myself give myself some <coughs> love self-love treatment and all of that Heal before getting into your next relationships. Yeah. I agree. Hundred percent. Mm -hmm. But also let's not forget <clears throat> when it comes to healing, it's you're always gonna be healing. Twenty four seven. You're healing mm -hmm. from something else or something happened yesterday, now you have to start healing again and da da da, -da and now you're healing again. Mm. Healing is a part of growth. True. Healing so is not linear. Yes. Okay. Heal as much as you can before yes. you get into the next relationship. Yes. Yes. Um I had to learn like how, how many relationships can be <laughs> that when I set a boundary or mm -hmm. I set a standard for the kind of person that I want, I need to stick to that no matter how much I really want that person. A person will show you how much they want to be in a relationship with their actions. Mm -hmm. If they say, hey, we're going to do this. Hey, I'm going to take you here. Or hey, um, I want to hang out with you. Hey, this, hey, that, hey, da, 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 da. There's all talk now. And then there's action. So healing also comes into creating your boundaries, sticking by them and sticking as true to who you are as much as you can <clears throat> whilst also trying to make space for someone else in your life. You don't mm. want to lose yourself in the relationship. Mm, you don't. You don't want to lose yourself. You want to keep your cool, keep your composure, be who you are, but also enjoy the fact that you're in a relationship. Enjoy yes. every part that comes with it. Yes. The pain, the pleasure. Mm. Yonke, yonke, londo. But yeah, heal as much as you can before, before getting into a relationship. Yes. Last but not least... I wish I would have known that there is someone better for you out there. There, there is something better for you out there. Don't think just because you had a bad experience in your last relationship that that's gonna happen all the time whenever you get to know someone. There is someone better. There is something better for you out there. I wish I would have known that because why? Because <laughs> I would be, I would be thinking, I can't live without this person. Like we broke up. How am I gonna survive without him? Ciao. There's something better out there. You were born alone. You know. You'll keep going alone. Exactly. I've always known that they will. I mean, hopefully not when I'm married. Now I'm still thinking there's someone better out there for me. <laughs> but it's a true. It's a truth. There is always someone better out there for you, especially in the moments where you are still dating, you're still figuring yourself out, da da da. Mm -hmm. But one thing that my mom said to me that really helped me after one of my relationships, I got cheated on last year, and it was a pain I would never wish wish on my worst enemy. But the one thing that she always taught me that held me together in that moment okay. always leave room for disappointment Ooh. now this doesn't mean that you need to live negatively and think that you're always going to be disappointed no matter what happens in life however just leave room for the possibility that someone is going to disappoint you because at the end of the day we are all still human beings and we still make mistakes right not to say mm. that when he cheated on me it was a mistake he, he knowingly did all of that shit. Yeah. but anyway <laughs> But anyway, when I found out that he cheated on me, 
the first thing that came into mind was always leave room for disappointment. I didn't even cry for a whole week when that happened. For a whole week, I could not cry. I, I tried, actually, no, I didn't even try. I tried not to cry. Yeah. I was like, I'm not gonna allow myself to cry until I fully realize the depth of what is going on, you know? So I found out that he cheated. He was crying on the phone, which is crazy. That's so crazy. <laughs> now you're acting like a victim. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. You know, I tried, even after, I tried to keep the relationship going. It just, nah, it just didn't work out. Always leave room for disappointment because it kind of gives you that mental safety net for mm. not, not losing yourself in the pain of what happens. So even in leaving room for disappointment, then I was able to know there is going to be someone better out there. I am going to push through this pain. I'm going to work through this pain and believe that God is going to make a plan for me and I will find my perfect one one day. Mm -hmm. But I'm also not in a rush. I want to enjoy myself. I want to meet new people. I want to date. I want to you know, get to know the kind of person that I want to see myself with for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. You know, Because marriage is a very important thing to me as well. But I don't just want to... Get, jump onto the first yeah, bandwagon and next thing send is one pregnant with three kids hey, and no father in, hey, in sight hey. crazy um no judgment to people that has happened to them in life like that that's that's just not what i want for me um yeah. but yeah that's that's that on that topic before we end off this um video i wanted to say this right i just wish so many can just find me because i feel like yeah i'm kind of <laughs> Like my soulmate is looking for me and I'm looking for that soulmate, but like he's not finding me. I'm just pretty, but like just just find me. You really want to be in a relationship, eh? I do, I do, I really do. And I feel like with my I, I date with the intention of getting married, right? I don't just <coughs> and, you know just like date the next person if that's over, da 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 da. Hmm. I have to get to know you. I have to I have to know your 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 strengths, your weaknesses, what you like, what you don't like. And then I'll be like, okay, you're actually perfect for me. I actually see the potential of marriage between us, you know? So yeah, if you're out there, soulmates. If you're out there, holler at your girl. Holler at your girl. <laughs> holler at your girl. I'm, yeah, I'm waiting. Oh, damn. And they say, and they say, <laughs> you find a relationship where you're not looking. It's time to. Yeah? It's time to. Oh, 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 it's time to dive in and look. It's time. Do you know what, guys? I, I really enjoyed having this whole okay? It was really like mind opening. Not gonna lie, this was a little bit tense for me. I was like, shit, yeah, actually, really. I need to reevaluate the things that I've been doing. It's time <laughs> for me to actually just sit yeah. back and stop looking and allow myself to enjoy what is to come. Yeah. yeah. Really? I think I've, for the last, I, I was like you when I was 20, and yeah. still, I probably ended like, it probably, the feeling probably ended about last year after I got cheated on. And I was mm -hmm. like, actually, it's time for me to just take as long as possible when it comes to having just met somebody be their friend okay learn what it is to be their friend first so find friends. out what makes them tick find out what makes them happy get to know them on a deeper 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 level mm -hmm. before jumping into a relationship thinking oh we'll get it we'll get to know each other in the relationship okay. oh no no we'll get to know each other when we're engaged that's oh no we'll get to know each other when we're married that's literally ah. that's literally me <laughs> i've been doing that <laughs> Bro, Ciao, yeah. take your time. It will come to you when you're not looking. If you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed listening to us talking about how dating has been for us, navigating dating in our 20s, don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, don't forget to subscribe for your girl. And yeah, I'll just have some more wholesome talks like this because I really enjoyed it, eh? honestly. Ciao, catch y'all in the next video. Video. Eh. Bye, 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 bye. <laughs>